Good. So, next is Lord, I have cried, we've done that. Svita Tiku, O Gladsome Light. Again, this is a very ancient hymn. And now, this is the, this is the usual simple melody that's used. So we're going to sing it. We're just going to sing it cold. And you're going to tell me what the melody is from. What? Oh, next is O Gladsome Light, Svita Tiki. Svita Tiki, the next one. They're just in order here for Vespers. And this is just a regular simple melody. God willing, by next year we'll have maybe one or two more interesting melodies, but we start at the beginning. So this is a simple melody. You will find it to be familiar. So we're going to sing it cold, and you're going to tell me what melody it is or what it's related to, okay? So let's do it first in English. Oh, glad some light. And O oh, gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly holy blessed Father, O oh, Jesus Christ, having arrived at the setting of the sun, having seen the evening light, we praise the God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God. It is worthy to praise you at all times with reverent voices. O Son of God, giver of life, wherefore the world doth glorifies you. What melody is that? Melody familiar? Okay, I made a mistake here. We praise God, the Son of Holy Spirit, God. Okay. Something to correct. Something to correct. What melody is that similar to? We sang that melody today. What is it? Tone two. Tone two. Exactly. So, um, it's real important. It's real important. We'll talk about this more later. But if you're doing tone six before that, to remember that this is tone two, because you'll see that different tones will have a tendency to, to go into one another. Tone two, tone six, tone four, tone six, those are ones you have to be really careful about if you get them back to back, because it's easy to mix them up, okay? Let's do this in Ukrainian, and I will try to read the words more carefully this time. Ready? End. one in Ukrainian and harmonize it now. So you have Svit, 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 the bass is Svit, Svit for the altos. Svit, 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 ready, and Svit, Tiki, Sviato, Islavi, Vesverto, Vodzane, Vesto, Vosviato, Vlaženo, Talked about in between the tones, right? In between, you know, you, you have 
in theory, between C and C, you can have not 12 notes, you can have an infinite number of notes, right? So sometimes we all get into an infinite number of notes, it's like hanging your fists on a keyboard, right? When you're doing that. When you're listening to that, I would suggest to you that there are two things that need to be done. Number one is, everybody default to the melody. Everybody default to the melody. So if you find you're getting muddled, you either default to the melody or you shut up and let somebody else sing. Okay? Don't try to um, don't try to out scream each other. Even if you're right, you're still wrong. It's like a domestic argument. Even if you're right, you're still wrong, right? Okay? So the important thing is that we're all in it together. And if there's one person there in the group who can hold a melody by themselves, and sometimes that's the only way first you can hold a melody, let them do it. Or if you, can, if you know the same melody, just default to that melody. Just go to the melody. Don't think you have to harmonize to be God-pleasing or whatever. Okay? So that's, that's what happens when you get into this kind of a thing. Either just be quiet and listen, and when the tones coalesce, so it becomes very clear that they are here and I should be there, then you can join in again. Quietly. You know, not to throw anybody else. Or just, you know, drop off or just sing melody, okay? That's a really good trick to do in those circumstances, okay? Good? Good. Okay. Now, let's go to the Vespers Pro Prokeman. Next page. Under normal circumstances, the prokimen is intoned by the deacon or the priest. The prokimen at Vespers is intoned by the deacon or in his absence by the priest. And then the people sing and then the verse and the people sing and the verse and the people sing and the verse and the people sing and half and the people sing. One. Um, See, these are all little communication tools. And two little communication tools we have in our liturgical practice are the half and the glory. Okay? So, you do the prokimen and the people sing the prokimen. And the reader reads the verse and the people sing the prokimen. And the reader reads half the verse and the people finish the prokimen. So that half is a signal to you that we're done. Or you do the verse, and the people sing to the prayers of the Most Holy Theotokos, O Savior, save us. And you do the next verse, and the people sing to the prayers of the Holy Theotokos, O Savior, save us. And then you do glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages of men. And that's the glory. Which means, last time, to the prayers of the Holy Theotokos, O Savior, save us. So the half and the glory. Those are little hints for us. If we pay attention, we know the end's coming up. And sometimes, for example, if you have a big piece like Transfiguration, there's one trapar, one kondak for the liturgy. So you have trapar, glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, the ages of age, amen, and the kondak, and boom, you go to Holy God, right? But sometimes you have six, you know, three trapas and three kondaks. So you do trapar, and trapar, and trapar, and trapar, and then the reader says, glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then you do the Kodak, and then he says, both now and ever, so you know that that is the ending. So those are just little, what do you call it, little um, signals, little signals to tell us, oh, end is coming, so get ready. So, let's do the Vespers Prokeman first in uh, Ukrainian, then in English, uh, one voice, this is tone six, but it's tone six prokeman melody. It's not tone six trapar melody. It's not tone six vesper melody. It's tone six prokeman melody. And so we're all going to sing melody on F. <laughs> Господь во царе вся увелични соня дух вся. That's the soprano line. 
That's a soprano line, okay? And by the way, just so you know, for, 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? True confessions? Right here, what I've done is I have made the soprano the high, the high harmony. The real, the real melody line is in the, in the alto line here, but don't worry about it. Let's just sing it and it'll be fine, okay? So the, the, the soprano line, and. Господь будь царився у величині Now let's take let's take half of the women who are going to self segregate and they'll sing this line Господь будь царився у величині All the women together. Same line as the sopranos. Os bod bod sarif sia u velich ni so hod ja nu sia basis. Os bod bod sarif sia u velich ni so hod ja nu sia basis with me and os bod bod sarif sia u velich ni so. So let's take Ladies, os bod bod sarivsia Alters Os bod bod sarivsia Basis Os bod bod sarivsia Ready, end Os bod bod sarivsia Umelich ni Sonia nusia Sonia nusia Os bod silu upoyasavsia Os bod bod sarivsia Oh, yeah. 
and everything before they go off to their cabins. They sing this a lot of times, and sometimes, yeah, Tanya's laughing. Sometimes they don't quite get it right and just listen to this and see how it sounds. Now that I, I, I don't know the word, I, I, know, I know my old translation, which I have to break myself up, so I'm gonna do it right now. Um, now let your servant depart in peace, O Master, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for the face of all peoples, a light of revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of people is right. It sort of leaves you like this, right? You need another ending. Yeah, so that's why. If you end, you have to end after two. If you have to end after two, you do it with a down. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Yeah, because otherwise you end up sort of hanging off of the cliff, right? <laughs> so it's th there's those little things about the tones that if you know them, it works out well. And if you don't, you wonder, geez, what happened? Okay, who was that guy, right? So that's all very, very good. How many people brought their sticky in for Vespers tonight? Okay. I have my copy here for the church, so I have an extra copy here as well. Who needs who needs the kid? Okay, I'm going to follow, and we can share them out. Okay, what you will have is, and it really works well to put this stuff in binders. What you will have is tone two in Ukrainian and in English, and then you will have two pages of these the here for Saints Adrian and Natalia, which are only in English. A lot of this stuff isn't translated into Ukrainian. Okay? So that's what you'll have. Tone 2 in Ukrainian, Tone 2 in English, and then you will have uh, the Stikiri for Adrian and Natalia. So pull out your Dobri Pastis. We're going to wa walk through the service right now. We're going to walk through it right now with the prayer books. Then we're going to review a couple of things, and then we're going to head upstairs for Vespers. <laughs> So we are on page 78, on page 78, 79, okay? The priest will begin, blessed is our God, the people will sing Amen, we will immediately go to page 80, 81 and sing. Okay, good, you got it, okay? So we go right there, and then we're going to begin Psalm 103. We are not going to read Psalm 103. We're going to sing what we sang earlier. Okay, so that's 103. When we are done with that, we are now on page 84, the Great Litany. Okay? 
we do the great litany, you know the responses. Miri os poderi popolimos. And always try to give a little bit of Or in English Lord have mercy Don't try to push it too much and don't cut it off at the end There's some people I know this English Just let it, let it sort of you want us to sing in unison or harmonize? You can harmonize. Yeah. As long as, as long as you know. No. Yeah, I don't want any like semi tone to <laughs> No twelve no 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 what is it call it? Uh, twelve um, twelve tone. No twelve tone. Okay. After that we go to Blessed is the Man. We're gonna do it just like here. Actually, Tanya. Tanya, you're going to come up, you two are going to sing the, the stick for Blessed is the Man in English, okay? Blessed is the Man, and then we'll sing Alleluia, Alleluia, okay? Then it's fall it be again. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord I have cried. Tone two. We've done tone two. We've gone through that. Someone will read the stick here. And perhaps that should be Hanusya, because Hanusya asked the question about how long do I read the stick here, so, yes. And, but anyway, whatever happens, my wife will say who's going to do it, because I can say anything down here with what she says in church goes. Yeah. Okay, so we do the stick here and the stick here. And so let's do the stick here right now. Hanusya, good it. We're gonna do this together. We'll do Ukrainian English, Ukrainian English. So I have it here. We have it. I'll finish it off. Okay, so we got it. Yeah. Strong quality in your heart, oh yeah. Pray ye te pokno ni vos taroche no mo peren vishno vidu tsia poho vislo vus. Sho ti lo prenya vo ni ve mari. Vos boli svoje i vin krest peren terpil. I na pohreb sebe vid dao. I vos krest šus mert vis mert vid. Spas mene ljudi nu za blu No righteous son shall wait for me Until you recompense me Christ our Savior By nailing the record against us to the cross and all it And destroy the light of death We worship his rising on the third day Now hold on a second, we're going to skip down to Vidranu um, Yinochi on page two, the second stikira, okay? Because what's going to happen is this Vidranu Yinochi, we sing that stikira, Spasenmo Pis Nyus right? You see that there. After the next one, you see where it says stikira from the Menean or Triodion, stikira vid Menea, you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That's the stikira for St. Adrian and Natalia. So, when you get to Bov Hospoda Mili Stivinik Yavizvilinya, for with the Lord there's mercy and with him is abundant redemption. When you get to that, then you will go to this Nikita for Adrian and Natalia. And we have those three, the glory for Adrian and Natalia. And then the both now we come back to tone two and sing the dogmatic, Minulas Tim Zakon, the shadow of God passed away. Do you all understand that? No. no okay. So, good. Tell me, that's important. So, let's go back to the beginning of tone two. Let's go back to the beginning of tone two. Bring my soul out of prison. Vividis temnici Do you all see that? The first stick, tone two. Stick it in a hospital to buy a whole through it. Stick it in, Lord, I've cried in tone two. You have the first stick. Come, let us worship. You see that? Second step, Christ our Savior. Third step, with angel, with archangels. Fourth step, an angel proclaim. Fifth stikira, by your cross you destroy the curse of the tree. Sixth stikira, the gates of death open to you. Seventh stikira, as we sing the hymn of salvation. Then you come to the seventh 
to the eighth verse, which says, For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. You see where we are? Yeah. Okay. The Stihira after that is the first one for Adrian and Natalia. Beholding the all-honored suffering and the valiant feats of the martyrs. And where is that? It's on a separate sheet from Toad 2. Stikire. It says 26 August, 8 September, Martyrs Adrian and Natalia. It only exists in English. Yeah, there's no Ukrainian translation of this. Okay, so that's the first one. We do the next one. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. And we do the second stikira for Adrian and Natalia. Imprisoned in dungeons, beaten with thongs of ox hide, etc., etc. Then we have the, the stikira. For his mercy is prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. We do the third stikira for them. The spouse of Adam caused him to be driven from paradise. Okay? Then we have the glory in tone six for Adrian and Natalia. O holy couple elect of the Lord, O women in union blessed of God, etc. And then, both now, we go back to tone two and we do the um, dogmatic, which is at the top of page three. Menolas kinza kohonu, polyprish la blahodai. The shadow of the law is passed away. Do you all see that? This is the way it works. In Ukrainian, stick stikira, stick stikira. So you just have to know how many stikira in what order, and then the stick introduces the stikira. Okay? Okay, so that's done. done. Now, back to the Nobri Pasti. Back to the Nobri Pasti. At the bottom of page 94, 95, we have the entrance, the prayer of the entrance, the blessing of the entrance, and the deacon says, Premudri Steinbo Tobozno, and we sing Svita Tiki. Svita Tiki Sviato Yislavi Besmertnoho, Otsiane Besnoho, Sviatoho, Blaženoho, Jesus and Christ. The Lord has put on power and girded himself. The Lord is King. He has clothed himself with majesty. Okay, so we're fine. After that, on to page 98-99. You see the Paremiyi, that means Paremia means Old Testament reading. We have none today because it's not a big feast day, so immediately the triple it For the triple one, simple. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We get to Bav Sefo Lord, someone will read that. Bav Sefo Lord, Spodobi Hospodi. The litany and supplication, simple. Hospodi Pomeloi, Podai Hospodi, Tobi Hospodi, Lord have mercy. Grant this, O Lord, to you. unto the Lord, to you, o Lord, the head bowing prayer, the, the, um, the, the exclamation, and then we have the apostica and theotokia. This is on page 104, 105. Does everybody see where it says apostica and theotokia? That's where we are. 
Those are also changeable parts found in tone two. So if you go to page three of tone two, you see there Stikirina Stikovni. That's the Ukrainian term, Stikirina Stikovni. The English term is the apostate. Then it begins, your resurrection of Christ Savior. Was Kersinia Tuya Christis Pase. So let's just do that first, Stikira, in Ukraine. Was Kersinia Tuya Christis Pase. Vesvit prosvitilo. It is public of the Sabbath for in your spoil. Semo put you was for this love. And that goes until the glory. At which point, go to Saints Adrian and Natalia. You have your security for Adrian and Natalia. You have a glory there and a boat now. The glory is in tone one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The zeal of a pious man drew his God-loving wife to splendid teaching. For the evident Adrian was drawn on by the words of Natalia. We haven't learned tone one. If you know it, fine. If not, don't worry. Just hang with us. Okay? Tone one has four phrases with an ending. Okay, and then both now in the same tone. And generally speaking, what you'll find for the apostate is the glory in the both now will always be in the same tone. After that's over, we close our crazy books, and we pick up our same books, and we go to the Song of Simeon on page 105. Now let your servant depart in peace, O Master, according to your word. For mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Says reader, and it's a common custom that one person would read these prayers. If you're going to do it with one person, I really suggest you find a young person who can read the prayers. Or, better yet, let everybody read them, because you won't you don't know how scandalized I was when about 15 years ago or so I went to, to bless a house of priests' children who actually came to church. You know, they say the priest kids, there's two types. There's a type that are really into the church and there's a type that you never see in church, right? So, so I go to visit these, to bless the house of this priest's son's family, right? And I had my little prayers for the, um, whatchamacallit, little prayers for the uh, blessing of the house. And it begins with the opening prayers from um, um, Oh, Holy Trinity, Sarya Nebes, Neis, Fiatei Boje, Pres Fiatei Troitz, etc. Those opening prayers. And I gave it, and he had it in English. I said, oh, here, read these prayers. So, Amen. And, uh, and he didn't know the prayers. And I was just totally scandalized that the priest kid didn't know the, just the opening prayers. I'm not talking about, you know, the Akathis to St. Senya or something. I'm talking about the opening prayers. So it's good for everybody to say them so that they learn them. We should all know these prayers. Father Hopko tells a little story about when he was in one of these um, uh, uh, ecumenical things in uh, back probably I guess the 60s or 70s, no 70s probably, where they had people from all over the world, all kind of Christian churches, this and that, and they're all talking about praying and what is prayer and how do you pray and this and that. He said some, some, some little old bishop from Georgia finally had enough and got up and like the, the deacons helping him up to the podium and says, what is this about prayer? When we pray, this is what you do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Bread, and he goes just through those opening prayers up to the Our Father. Yeah, so everybody should know these prayers, okay? So I would really suggest that it's a good practice if everybody in church reads these prayers. We sing the Amen, then we have the Drapar on page 106, 107, Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos. It's in tone four, you have no problem. Let's do it once in English, uh, once in Ukraine, once in English. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
careful because in the Ukrainian there's several popular translations of this. When we sing it, it goes Bohorotiv Radusya, Blahonat Nimarius with Voyu, Blahoslovena Tiv Joda, I Blahosloven Titovich Voye. You just be be careful there, because I know a lot of us we're not used to that. Okay? And then we have the dismissal, which is just blah. Premudris, blahoslovi, say blahoslovi, and back and forth. So that's just the regular thing, okay? So, I make it 1645. So we have about five minutes. When we go up into church, um, Tanya, if you could sort of keep things in order around the chantry stand. If everybody can take what they need for Vespers, if you want to have music with you, bring your music, have it ready. The Vespers music is laid out in order for you. As well, you'll need the tone two music. Okay? We have this tikire spread out, spread out so that you can easily, you know, access your uh, notes and your stikire. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine too. If you just want to stand there and pray the whole time quietly, that's fine too. But this is a good practicum. If anybody would like to actually read something, or if you want to sing along with this tequila, be close to my wife or let my wife know, okay? And uh, that's it. So the next session is on October the 5th. So in the meantime, the homework is learn tones two, three, four, and five by heart. And the Resurrection of the Father Melody and the Lord I Have Cried Vespers Melody. A help to learn the Vespers Melody will be learning those tones to sing them from the funeral, from the um, Stichiri of St. John of Damascus. That will be very helpful for the Vesperal tones to learn them. Your other piece of homework is Tone 3 Tropar, you tell me what the structure of the tone three tropar is. Okay? Is it one phrase, two phrase, special beginning, special ending, special whatever? Okay? So that's your homework. Come back, mark it up. Um, and next month we will be doing the tone six, seven, eight, and one. We will finish up with Vespers. And if we have enough time, which given what we've done today, I think we will, we'll, we'll do all the Prokeman melodies next month as well. They're very short, so it's not a big deal for the Prokeman, so we'll do all of them, okay? Are there any questions or observations or anything else? One quick question. The, the verses in between the refrains and between, is the first part read and the second part the song? That's one way of doing it. That's the way we normally do it. But if it's being done, see, because norm, you know, and, and to be honest with you, um, when we serve Vespers in my church, in, in Oshawa, I'd say a good 33% of the time, just me and my wife, right? And if, and other times when people do come, for the most part, like if Paul comes, he'll help out with singing and reading, things like that. But it's, it's very, you know, uh, how do you say, very sketchy, you know? So we've gotten into the habit of doing a read and then sing. But if you have somebody at Chandra stand who actually knows the melody, because I know the melody, but I'm all, I'm, I'm sensing, right? So if you have somebody who knows the melody, you can do it straight through from the Chandra's chant, Chandra stand. We've just done that for practical reasons. Okay? Next, we'll go to the October. Five, fifth of October. And, um, pardon me, time one till four, one till five with rest with afterwards. Also, anyone who needs a funeral book, that if you have hopefully, oh, there it is. Okay, anyone who needs a funeral book, I have four to get, okay. Uh, anyone who has purchased a Dobri pasta or needs to purchase a Dobri pasta, make sure to see my wife to pay for her or to get it from her. We will be, we will be doing the vespers from this Dobri pasta upstairs or the, or the other one. And I think that's it. So if I've missed anything, tough luck to me. We will start vespers at 5 p.m. sharp in church. Please remember what Father Bolodevich said about going outside and, and, and missing around. Thank you very much. You've been very patient with me. I look forward to seeing you next time.